Ready? Yes, sir. That's why you walk. It's behind the dream. Behind the dream, right? Yo, 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 that's why you walk. And it's behind the dream. My name is Wavy Mark from North Houston, Texas. Home of so many underground legends. Slim Thug, Killer Callion, j Dog, and the list going on and on. But I'm here to make my mark. I'm here. I'm another legend. Educator, middle school level. Um, it's a purpose in that. Um, taking that journey of college and, and you know all the classes and stuff like that. Um, it had to become a purpose to want to you know teach or you know be in education. Um, but I know that's not my stop. Uh, that's not my last stop. You know, uh, I feel like I'm going to touch the next generation by bridging the information and gap between the young and the old um, by being an example. Um, I'm going to get emotional. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so um, teaching it, um, it, it helps me um, you know write it helps me uh, relate to kids and what they're going through and so I can get back out to the world to help bridge that gap like I said I am a bridge um, and becoming an educator is one of the factors of being that bridge um, and also with my songwriting and production um, so yeah it all ties together and to um, give something back to my community and um, you know, to give to spark uh, interest in other in other dreams, other other ways to just express yourself and be you. Um, so I'm that bridge. I'm that person. I'm that I'm that figure. I'm that songwriter. I'm that educator. That businessman. That CEO. Um, that's going to pave the way for a lot of youth in the world, um, whether it's in Houston, Texas, or just around the world. Period. It's just, you know what? I can honestly say, like, as an adult, you realize certain things that you liked as a kid and, like, that you did as a kid, but it wasn't like, because football was always the main um, deal, but, you know, my cousin 702, they song, and, like, certain, th certain things about hip-hop, uh, for instance, Mace and the colorful outfits and uh, the different uh, black sitcom TV shows that you know, they used to drive you as a kid, like, and really make you, like, want to figure out more. How can I be a part of art? How can I do that? You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, the whole goal was football. The whole goal was let's play football. But it was always something in me to be like, yo, like, I, I, I know I'm, I, I, can, I can draw. I have these facets of my life that, like, it, that's parallel to um, hip-hop. It's parallel to just art. Oh man, uh, currently I'm in this album phase of finishing up Below the Sky, Volume 1. Um, should we're approaching the um, track listing phase. Um, on a business tip, we're uh, working on um, getting LLCs and uh, different um, business requirements that you have to have for this thing. Um, uh, also building another website coming up very soon. So at this point, we're still working as a company, uh, as a startup company. Um, you know, uh, teaming up with you know Roy Visual Films and um, you know shot by Esco, teaming up with these different you know uh, camera guys to help us out. And we're still in this uh, startup stage, but yeah, working on Below the Sky um, Volume One. You know, should be. You know, should turn heads, should, you know, do a lot of work in Houston, in these Houston streets, across the world to the masses. And, um, yeah, that's, that's, what's, that's what we had. Uh, music came to me um, in high school. Um, I really saw hip-hop in high school. I saw um, inspiring rappers. I, had, I got a best friend who's in New York now who um, is an inspiring MC, steady working producer. And he was the one that showed me hip hop. And he showed me that, you know, there is another way to express yourself. 
there's a way to be consistent at something else outside of uh, football. You know, when football was over with, sports was over with, what else kids were supposed to go do? Like, they had to make a choice, you know what I'm saying? Especially certain athletes. Like, you have to make a choice whether to go, especially where I'm from, whether to go hustle, um, do what you got to do, you know, on the streets and hustle, or, you know, um, choose the studio like I did. So, at, at a young age, I was already in the studio, you know, working on this craft of mine. Do what does giving dreams power mean to me? Um, it actually means like manifesting what you want in life, like executing and um, your actions, like being down with your actions. And what I mean by being down with your actions, like writing out your plans, um, praying if you if you believe in that. Um, just steadfasting on what you want in life. Um, I think that's giving power to your dreams. My inspirations are uh, my family, the ones that are around me, because um, they with me every day. So um, I see them do what they do, and it inspires me to you know do what I do, and you know um, just wanting to, to complete goals and wanting to have. Uh, my own building for Northern Way production. So that, those are the things, really just family and uh, just my friends and, you know, my twin brother, you know, the ones that are around me every, each and every day are the ones that inspire me. Well, don't be afraid to go after your dream. Um, just be you. God made you in his image and light, so, you know, just be you. Just uh, express yourself the best way you can and just be you, follow your heart. Um, don't give up. You know, all of, it might sound cliche, but it's really real. Like, you know, just do you, do you, you know. Focus on what makes you happy. Focus on what makes you get up every day and strive and want to work. Like, just do you. Um, that's my piece of advice from you know, Wavy Moore, Northern Way Productions.